Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House and in this video we're taking a look at the latest release from Four Seasons, the new Evo Plus model. Now this is the 480 watt variation, so let's get right into the specs and features. Now to kick it off, this is of course an Evo Plus model, which means it is using none other than the Samsung LM301H Evo series diodes, which simply offer the highest level of efficiency in the industry, rated up to 3.14 U-Moles per joule, so it simply does not get better than that. Those Samsung Evo diodes are actually split between 3000K and 5000K, effectively combining a veg and a flower bulb into a single grow light. Keeping in mind, this is giving you the entire full spectrum experience here, meaning this panel can carry your plants from seed right through to harvest with no exceptions. There are, of course, still 660 and 730 specific wavelengths sprinkled in there to help bolster the spectrum in some key areas. Now if you're comparing this against the previous generation you might actually notice some key aesthetic changes. No longer are you having to clip in the LED bars, it is simply a fold out frame design. Meaning once you pull it out of the box, fold the panel open, put in the locking pins, this panel is ready to go. Beyond the fold out frame and easy assembly, you will see that these heat sinks have actually made a change as well. We've got a lot larger profile here, offering a huge amount of real estate for more diodes to be fitted. Going from around 1500 diodes on the previous generation right up to just under 2000. So this actually makes a huge difference in real world operating conditions. We'll give you guys a full reflection on that with PAR maps and a spectrum breakdown soon. And if you're looking closely, you might also have noticed these new lens caps. So these are all new to the Evo Plus model. Those are there to help improve the canopy penetration and intensity down onto your plants. It's gonna reduce losses of light on the sides of your grow tent, and it's also there to insulate them from the harshness of a growing space. This particular unit being the Evo Plus 480 means it measures a full 90 by 90 centimeters and draws 480 watts. To be fair, it is a match made in heaven when you're working within the confines of a 1.2 by 1.2 grow space. You can expect saturation right out to the corners with a really nice level of intensity that you could even consider adding CO2 to really help bolster the growth of your plants. And to power up that full 480 watts of growing potential is a tidy Four Seasons driver tucked neatly within that frame there. So what it means again, plug and play. There is no assembly required around this driver. What you won't notice is how much effort Four Seasons has put into that driver solution for the highest level of efficiency, reliability, and of course the lowest amount of heat generated. They have also made improvements in their cabling using silicon grade cables with copper conductors for the ultimate in electrical efficiency, and of course waterproof glands to keep it all IP rated for those harsh growing conditions. Now with all of that power on tap, you certainly need to be able to dial it in to suit your plant's requirements. The dimmer module has migrated to the end rail, which is true in all of the Helios range now. A really nice way to reach in and easily adjust that intensity. I will touch on the details of this dimmer very shortly. And not only does this panel look good, it is fully certified with SAA certifications, a five year warranty, meaning that you can use this panel day in and day out from here, all the way to Australia in those harsh grow room environments. Now that we've given you a closer look at the changes and benefits that this new range has to offer, let's get it off the table and into the grow tent behind me. Give you guys some real insight into the output and spectrum produced. And of course today's grow tent of choice is the AC Infinity Cloud Lab 844. Measuring 1.2 by 1.2 and 2 meters tall, it is a match made in heaven for the Evo Plus 480. You can expect that intensity and saturation to reach right into the corners of this grow space with absolutely no compromise. But I just want to touch on how easy installation is with this grow light. Of course it is a fold out frame plug and play design, but the four included rope ratchet hangers certainly make it easy to set this light up at any height you require. Allowing you to lift and lower it to your heart's content or to your plant's requirements, it is really that easy. And to kick off our testing today, we are using our Apogee FAR PAR sensor. This is going to be used to give you guys a PAR map on the overall intensity this grow light provides. PAR is simply going to represent photosynthetic active radiation. It's the intensity your plants are going to recognize and understand. So for you guys at home, you'll be looking at these PAR maps and getting a really good understanding on the kind of intensity you can expect to see across the entire grow space. Once you've had a good look at those PAR maps and you're understanding the intensity levels you can expect to see at the different dimmer settings, it's really good to understand what those numbers mean. We typically recommend around 3 to 500 U-moles for a really good vegetative state plant, and if you're looking to flower, anywhere above 600 is a great place to be. Just keep in mind when you do cross the 1000 threshold, you typically want to be adding in CO2 gas to really make use of what this grow light has to offer. With the all new Evo Plus lenses, the 90 degree beam angle is certainly helping to drive up that level of intensity with more expected canopy penetration. 
Having extremely high levels of intensity is certainly nice to have, but having high quality levels of intensity is what makes the difference. These Evo diodes are no exception, offering that finely tuned spectrum to really suit your plants. In this case, we're going to use our spectro radiometer to take a sample of light and give you guys a full breakdown on the spectrum included. With a quick sample of light, we've actually noticed side by side that the Evo Plus models do produce a very slight pinky hue. But when we take a closer look at the sample produced and analysed by our spectro radiometer, we can see that there's ever so slightly a shift in the spectrum, meaning that the nanometers have moved a little further down to what Samsung called plant-centric short wavelengths. Effectively, they've worked very hard to produce these diodes to emphasise on better plant growth. Now, what we're looking at here is a full spectrum light, of course. You're gonna see a very high peak in the blues, thanks to the 5000K diodes, and another very high pink in the reds, thanks to the 3000K Samsung diodes. But what that means to you and your plants, of course, is that very high peak in the blues is going to help your plants stay shorter, stockier, and denser. Very desirable when you're working within the confines of a grow tent. As we move across the spectrum towards the reds, this is going to be there to help enhance that photosynthetic growth when it comes to flowering and fruit production, and of course the 660 diodes are helping to bolster this area. Just beyond that there is of course a very small peak in the 730s which is also there to help enhance that photosynthetic growth, triggering photoreceptor number 2 or also known as the Emerson effect. These are all there of course to help benefit overall plant growth production, especially around fruiting and flowering. Now that you've got a little more understanding on the advantages the Evo Plus model offers in terms of intensity and of course spectrum quality, being able to control all of that is very important. As I mentioned earlier, the dimmer module has migrated to the end rail, making it really easy to simply reach in and adjust that level of intensity if you don't want to be lifting and lowering your grow light. Offering 15% right through to 100% controllability, it does make it easy to dial in that specific amount of intensity to suit your plant's requirements. We typically recommend around half power or 50% for veg growth and dialing it right up to 100% for full power flowering potential. You will also notice there are two RJ ports next to the dimmer, input and output. When you set the dimmer to EXT, which is the setting beyond 100%, this is where the input port becomes active. It's now listening for a master controller source, whether that's a Four Seasons master controller or an AC Infinity controller used with an adapter like the Type A. This allows your controller to operate your grow light scheduling on and off, dimmer intensity and a whole host of other features depending on the controller. The output port is where you can now link or daisy chain multiple panels to the first panel, effectively meaning you can control a full grow space off a single control port or single controller. For most growers out there, you can simply plug your grow light into a mechanical or digital timer to schedule your light. There's nothing wrong with that. But just keep in mind if you're looking to expand your setup, there's a full layer of commercial features ready to go. So if you're the kind of grower looking to replace your old HPS, upgrade your LED, or even expand your setup, the Evo Plus model should certainly be considered. With this particular unit offering 480 watts on tap, it is an absolute match made in heaven for that 1.2 by 1.2 grow space. Of course, backed with that five year warranty, SAA certification, there is nothing left on the table when it comes to industry leading performance. So I hope we've given you a little more insight into what this new range of grow lights has to offer, but if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us here at Herbal House. Thanks for watching.